campers uh, to a very wet and damp morning uh, next to Coniston Water. And it's half seven in the morning and it's day two of the Cumbrian Way and it's Saturday the 18th of July. Um, horrible weather, um, hasn't stopped raining since really got here last night, just been absolutely chucking it down. However, if the forecast remains true to what it's been so far, then from about midday early afternoon, we should see some sunshine and the rain should disappear. So that'll be cool. Um, so it's, I'm gonna give it an hour or two, wait for, uh, and hopefully wait for a clearing and then get packed up um, or drop the tent. I'm gonna get packed up anyway after some breakfast inside and then uh, we'll drop the tent. Um, hopefully, in, if the rain cuts down a bit. Um, so that's it, so we'll be at it and today we're off to the area of Great Langsdale, um, hoping to wild camp just below State Pass. All right, see you later. We're at it. Sue, Sue's <laughs> want to pack up. All right, it's gone quarter past nine now. Uh, we might as well have a break in the weather. Um, constant holes behind me. And I'm heading to Coniston now, which is in front of me. <clears throat> and you start seeing a few of the mountains, the old man of Coniston and everything. Um, the forecast is still, it's about midday to be rainy. But however, just above me, there's a bit of blue sky, which is good. Uh, the wind's picked up as well, so hopefully that's now dispersing all this low-lying mist. Anyway, we're going to move uh, into Coniston. Um, have a mooch around there for 15 20 minutes and then we're going to push on. All right, but we're at it day two. It's about quarter to eleven. I had a proper mooch in um, Coniston. Uh, one because since the start it's been raining and it poured down last night, so it's just nice being out in decent weather. So I just sat on a bench, had a cup of coffee, and just chilled out really. Some wild camping tonight, so there's no great shakes. So I've just left Coniston now, cross Shepherd's Bridge, and we're now starting to climb uphill. All the way up there towards Tarn House. A couple of kilometres up there, another water feature. Alright, um, so we'll just keep plodding on. But it's not raining now. Nice weather. Really start enjoying it. And the views, of course, have opened up because the mist is dispersed. Alright, um, see you in a bit. Hi, behind me, you can see the doghouse. And I've watched a few people's videos, and quite a lot of people stay in there. Um, so you could actually push through Coniston and then you get to that Shepherd's uh, Bridge that's about 300 metres um, up from the bridge you can still hear the, the river down in the trees there so you could stay there really uh, push all the way to Coniston have something to eat in Coniston sort yourself out then move to there and it avoids that campsite all the other campsites there because they're all very busy uh, really for the water park. Anyway, let's keep going up this hill.
Tarn House. Very popular little spot. Absolutely adorable. I'm going to sit on this bench now. Something to eat and chill out. I ain't catching a bit. Right, about 200 metres in front of me is the A road that leads into Skell with Bridge. Uh, we're going to follow that along before we cut back onto the path and then that meanders round uh, bypassing Skell with Bridge. And then uh, we're moving on to the next little village which I can't remember its name, it's Chapel something anyway. Chapel Bridge could be. Find out when we get near there because I might pop in there anyway. Um, before we push on but we're just approaching um, shortly once we get to scale with bridge getting into Langdale Valley okay then see you in a bit right, since the last video you just follow a B road um, and then you have to come back on yourself so you come in this gate here and that building there is Pine Farm I think it's Pine Head on the map um, first place since I started the walk yesterday where you could actually have a cup of coffee, uh, so it's a it's a nice cream and jam scone or scone for some of you, and uh, a nice cup of coffee and a cranberry juice. And now we're just basically going back on ourselves because we come on the B road down that way, and this will take us towards Skell Bridge, and then we start skirting across again. There's to this chapel place, I can't remember the name, I've just looked at it on the map and there's another little village or hamlet before that as well uh, and that's really then start of um, Langdale Valley which I think is over there somewhere okay then, so we'll keep going sun's out now, best weather we've had since we've started happy days Hi everyone, it's about half two now on day two I haven't done that much uh, video on the phone really because I've gone back to my uh, camera because hey the sun's out troopers excellent aren't they? well we're about 10 miles in um, doing alright I'm going to be wild camping tonight below the big climb which we're going to be doing tomorrow morning of Steak Pass um, in Langsdale Valley I've got to get to the valley yeah, I'm about 2k short and mooch all the way along the valley but I'm wild camping tonight so it's it's not an issue time wise it's all good in the hood uh, it's lovely to be out now instead of the slog it was yesterday in the rain anyway a couple of donations have popped in you know who you are brilliant really really chuffed uh, and thank you um, it's been a tough time for everyone uh, and obviously Ames is a new charity hasn't been going that long uh, to starting up tell people again so every penny people can donate I guarantee you we'll do someone some good all right then but uh day two's going well or going well so see you soon everyone enjoy your Saturday
how cool was that weir, eh? That was a pretty impressive uh, flow of water, that. Right then, we're now on this path here, which is pretty popular with walkers, which is cool. Um, about a mile and a half, we should uh, hit the little village of Elterwater, and then we move on to Ch Chapel Stye. And, oh, I'll get that name right in the end, obviously when I get there. But uh, that's where we want to stop off, hope we get to a shop or something. But we'll just enjoy this for now. Right, it's bang on four o'clock now. We've just moved throughout a tree. Uh, quite busy, touristy. A uh, little car park there which is rammed. And two pubs, which was good. Uh, a lot of people out and about enjoying the weather on a Saturday. So we're just pushing on now along Langsdale Beck, which is down here, which we're going to be following quite oh, all the way up the valley now. But first of all, uh, just up the road here, you've got Chapel Stye, another little village. Uh, we'll probably be busy, but I'm going to stop off there anyway, um, because um, I want to be wild camping before I get to Stake Pass, and it's only four o'clock. Um, I know it's quite touristy around here, touristy, touristy. So I want to be put my tent up, last knockings really. So hopefully get to this chapel, uh, sty. Just find somewhere to chill out for a bit, even if it is a bit busy. Um, but weather's gone glorious, which is always a bonus. One, makes going a lot easier. And two, uh, you can see the views. So, that's us. Um, pushing on to Chapel Stye. That's about quarter six. Um, look at the views. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? Stunning. And to our front there, that white building there, where we're heading for now, that's the hotel in Old Dungeon Gill, or Dungeon Gill, I think it is. I think this is where they've got a National Trust campsite as well. Again, I don't think it's one of them you can just walk in. Uh, I'm sure you've got a pre-book. Um, so if you're ever doing it, it's the only campsite between here and you get over State Pass. So if you are looking to stop in there, I think you should check. But I'm going to pop to the hotel now, see how busy it is. It's been like everywhere else today. It'll be rammed. If it is rammed, um, I'll take 10 and push on. If it's not that bad, let's get a cup of coffee and a glass of coke, I think, um, before we push on for the remainder of the evening. Perhaps absolutely perfect, this weather. Absolutely lovely. Showing the lakes off beautifully. I'll get them. See you in a bit. It's going to have six. Uh, bump stay before where we dropped off the other side of the valley over there. You can see if I'm pointing in the right direction over there somewhere. We dropped off into that pub which I thought was the hotel at Old Dungeon Gill, but it wasn't. It was the pub at New Dungeon Gill, and the trail goes straight through the car park. We've now just pushed up the high ground, and Old Dungeon Gill is further on down this way about a k. And that's where the National Trust campsite is. But there is a campsite as well. Um, there. So we have to just ring up, I suppose, and find out. But we're just pushing now along the valley. Hi, 
Right, we've just passed Old Dungeon Gill, uh, which is down the trap behind me. And then we're about two k's to where I'm hoping to wild camp. Um, as I said, I want to be at the bottom of State Pass. But we'll see, if I find a spot on the way, then we'll stop there. But ideally, what time are we on? It's five to seven. So we've got back to time. And it'd be nice to get the tent up and give it a bit of an airing anyway. Um, for getting soaked last night. Anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, up that way, up that way is where State Pass is. So we're it's quarter past, 20 past seven now. So I'm gonna keep moving down here. Um, I was going to go for the last knock-ins about 8 o'clock. Um, seen no walkers for a bit now. Um, so hopefully, this, oh, I mean, this, look at this, this. I can go anywhere I want to, do you? We want to get far up as possible. Hopefully next to a weir, I think that's on the map. Um, but tomorrow, we're going up that bad boy somehow. Alright then, let's keep going. Well, it's uh, as bottom of State Pass as uh, you could get, really. So it's quarter to eight. A few people just leave. I'm just going to look down there somewhere, somewhere to pitch the tent. Uh, and then tomorrow, we're off up there. Okay, then. everyone it's just gone nine o'clock now all set up but a lovely wash in the old uh, stream new trousers on new t-shirt new knickers uh, good for day three good spot this I've got a river that side I've got a river that side so uh, hopefully no sheep can get up onto here because of the rivers um, beautiful views better than last night and then we're straight below where I wanted State Pass. So a super successful day, uh, day two. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I had something to eat in the pub as well, uh, in New Gill, New Old Gill, uh, <laughs> whatever it's called anyway. That pub I talked about before, I had something to eat in there. Even though I'm carrying meals, because I didn't know what would be open. I treat these little jaunts as like holidays as well. So I like to eat in local places. Also, throw some money back in the economy and all that sort of stuff. Um, but um, I'm going to have a brew now, just chill out, watch a film or two. Then we'll get up handy, I think, and um, we'll get up Steak Pass and on to Keswick. All right, then. All to myself, though. Better than a busy campsite. Love it. All right, then. Day two complete. See you on the morrow. <laughs>